Hello everybody, my name is David and welcome to a quick redstone build in Minecraft using the new observer block in Minecraft 1.11. So we are here and I'm going to show you the new clock that I have designed using the observer block. This is a nice concise and extremely thin clock and it's quite nice because it fits into a 4x3x1 by by area so you can see it's only one block wide so you can fit this into really tight corners. And what's cool about it is that it has two uh, outputs that you can put torches on like this so you can put one there you can put one there which is pretty cool and it also has a third output here but you have to use a repeater here so that you can uh, have a usable tick tick speed on it so even that's not fast that's too fast for the torch so you can delay it a little bit like that but the point is is that you have uh, a clock that has basically three outputs that are usable you can probably even yeah, and there you go. There's a fourth one. Not there, but th there's a fourth one down there. So this has several outputs that you can use. Three of which are, which are all on the same tick, and one of them which you could use for something else. And basically the way this works, using the observer block, is what happens is that this is detecting a, re a, a block update on this block, the redstone turning on, which is outputting a redstone signal into this repeater, traveling up, and turning the torch on and off, which is, once again, creating a block update so it's an infinite loop. So to build this, it's pretty easy. We're just going to do this, 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 observer block there, okay? A block there. Let's put our torch down. Redstone repeater has to be on tick number two, otherwise it won't work because it has to be it has to create a, a slow enough delay for the torch to update. If the torch doesn't update, this doesn't work. And then to activate it, all you have to do is, pre is put redstone there, and you've got it. Now you notice that this is actually slightly faster than the classic hopper clock, which is not the most elegantly shaped. I mean, you can fit this into pretty, whoops, well, I just broke that. You can fit this into pretty small areas, but you know, you only get one, well you can have multiple comparators I guess. Let me just, let's see, you can have multiple comparators, but that, that takes up a lot of space. And it is becoming nighttime. let's make it day. Time, set, day. Alright, there we go. So you can see that it can have multiple outputs, but they're not the most uh, efficiently compacted. You can fit this, you can fit a clock into a smaller space. This you have three outputs on this side that are all on the same tick which is pretty cool and one that's that you can delay slightly here as long as you put a repeater on tick number two so that's what i wanted to show you guys today um this this could this observer block is definitely gonna change the face of redstone i mean it's the first like change to real redstone mechanics in like three years or something so um it, it's pretty awesome what this is gonna what this is gonna do for the Minecraft community. So thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Jack it up.